What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So I'm talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. So the Halloween movies official Instagram account and some other I guess official social media outlets or accounts related to this movie put out a post like this as you see here on your screen. This is from Instagram. Uh, Halloween night 1978 the night he came home and now it ends. Watch the final Halloween trailer tomorrow. So I was confused at first because I'm like, are they talking about for the re-release of 1978? But no, I guess they're talking about the final trailer for Halloween Ends. And that's what you should expect tomorrow at some point later in the day or early on in the day. Now, I tried to see if this could be validated in some sort by also going to like the Alberta film rating system because there are some rating systems out there that will start to list trailers and a runtime for said trailer prior to them coming out. But that's not always the case in it doesn't appear to be the case here. And I, I don't actually think it happened with the first Halloween teaser either. I might be mistaken. Actually, no, it did happen with that teaser. I believe it did. But I don't see anything so far for this one. But I guess we're going to get a final trailer for Halloween Ends tomorrow. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, they've shown too much. Or they, they need to stop because they've already released the clips. Uh, honestly, I, I can only say if you don't want to see anymore, just don't watch it. The final trailer probably is going to put, I would hope, a bigger highlight on this character of Corey Cunningham and showing you that this is more so going to be a character driven movie that's not just going to be Michael Myers versus Laurie Strode because I know you know they're out there there are going to be a lot of people who again they're they're not watching videos like this they're not researching everything like we are or just talking about it till the movie comes out like we are they're going to see marketing get in their head of Michael versus Laurie they're going to sit down and see that a large chunk of this movie is not Michael versus Laurie it's probably not even heavily it's not even it's probably not even heavily progressed off of the character of Lori as much as it might be heavily progressed off of the character of Corey. And then those people will leave saying, hey, that was false advertisement. And in some aspects, I don't blame them because, again, they're doing a real good job at just constantly hyping up Michael versus Lori. To an extent, I get it. But tell us more about this movie. Market it with other components other than the main event of the evening, because the main event of the evening like Michael and Lori fighting, that's not the whole movie. And I don't even think anyone would sit down. Uh, now, if I'm wrong, you can let me know. I don't think many people will sit down and watch a movie anyway. Let's say it literally was Michael versus Lori for over an hour and then some change attached to that. I'm not watching that. Uh, I'd rather watch Freddy versus Jason fight again, honestly, than these two has been. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, I did get to rewatch that clip for the third clip that i talked about in my other video that i didn't i didn't get to mention it in depth because i, I hadn't watched it it was the clip between Lori and corey talking with those two talking it backed up what i was also saying again in my last video i guess Lori is the one who brings corey in in some fashion so is she bringing him in out of compassion at first early on because she sees somebody who maybe reminded her of how Michael Myers was. But then by watching him from afar and seeing how the town of Haddonfield mistreats him and seeing that he's doing nothing wrong in return, she starts to feel for the guy and says that, hey, you know what? They, they need to leave him alone. Let me be a light at the end of this dark tunnel that he's currently trapped in because he's being accused of something he was proven innocent of. Uh, and the town just hates him because they see him as the next boogeyman. And I don't want to be a part of that problem. I want to try to be a light for him. But then along the way, Corey, again, he starts acting fugazi. He starts doing all this weird stuff. He starts probably messing it up with Allison after she probably gets those two together. And she's like, hey, bro, I don't want you near my granddaughter anymore. Then it leads to a scene like that occurring where he's arguing with Lori. Lori's arguing with him, telling him to stay away from from Allison and I think his line was if I can't have her no one can I mean the the first person I thought of when I heard when I heard him say that and that's a line I know we've heard from plenty of people but because Scream 5 is so recent when Corey said that I instantly just smiled because I was thinking about Jasmine Brown's character of Mindy Meeks Martin in her line when she was using that towards uh towards I can't think of his name from 13 Reasons Why towards Dylan Minnette's character of Wes in Scream 5 so that scene in the performances from what I was seeing, it looks like, again, performance-wise, Halloween Ends is going to be 
something that continues to deliver on or in the in the performance department even though again i would say that in kills performances were lacking they weren't atrociously bad or anything but certain performances were better than others so far from the footage that's been released of ends it looks like everyone will always be on their a game specifically i i think andy matichak might be the standout here i think andy matichak is going to do amazing work as the character of allison this time if the movie does indeed focus more on her and her relationship with Corey and her evolvement over time or evolution over time in this movie as she learns that Corey isn't the guy who she was in denial or in denial about and other components related to how she might be coping with the death of her mother her father her ex-boyfriend so the final trailer apparently is dropping tomorrow what could it showcase the final trailer could honestly showcase again more of Corey you could see more looks at this extended at this kitchen brawl you could see more things related to this uh scene that again is seems like you can pick it out by going through the track list maybe of the town of Haddonfield coming together and taking michael's body somewhere because again there's a track title called the procession uh i believe that's what it's called and the procession usually involves I might be getting the word wrong, but I think it was called the procession. The procession usually involves a group of people coming together. Now, why would a group of people come together over Lori? I don't know. Uh, even, because, again, Lori was somebody who I think w we would say was considered the town crazy woman. I think more people would collectively come together if that thing that they all collectively feared had been abolished. And that would, of course, be Michael Myers. Maybe we'll get a shot of that. We could get more shots of Allison and Corey hanging out. Get more shots of what's going on with Corey. I think anything with Corey is is necessary at this point. Just so that people who might be in the mindset of it's all about Michael and Lori can at least see this if it has other things in it. And be like, oh, it's not going to be all about Michael and Lori. Because again, that's the primary thing they're trying to sell you on. And that's fine. But again, I think a lot of us know who are experienced with this. And we are all very familiar with certain marketing techniques. And we, are, of course, have been familiar with the plot that's out there. That this is not going to be just the Michael and Lori show. Tell us about Corey Cunningham. Rohan Campbell and his, his, his lack of promotion, honestly, has been a little disappointing too. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.